द नॉलेज लाइब्रेरी डेली करंट अफेयर्स न्यूज हेडलाइंस ट्वेल्थ नवम्बर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी नेशनल न्यूज द पब्लिक स्क्रीनिंग ऑफ द सिक्सटी नाइन्थ नेशनल फिल्म अवार्ड विनिंग फिल्म ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी वन विल टेक प्लेस इन डेली फ्रॉम द फोर्टीन टू द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ नवम्बर प्रेसिडेंट द्रौपदी मुर्मू एक्सटेंडेड हर ग्रीटिंग्स एंड बेस्ट विशेज ऑन द ईव ऑफ दीपावली टू ऑल द सिटीजन लिविंग इन इंडिया एंड अब्रॉड Union Minister Jitendra Singh has said today that the central government is committed to the growth of rural and remote areas which remained deprived of development. Union Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Singh Thakur has welcomed all the filmmakers and actors of the films and web series that will be premiered at the gala organized by the National Film Development Corporation Limited at the 54th International Film Festival of India. Campaigning for the assembly elections is gaining momentum in the four poll-bound states of Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan and Telangana. The government has advised everyone not to share any personal information if receiving calls threatening disconnection. A song on Millets featuring Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been nominated for a Grammy award in the best global music performance category. The Enforcement Directorate has arrested Amit Katyal, promoter of AK Info Systems in the alleged land for jobs scam case. External Affairs Minister DR S Jaishankar will be on a 5-day official visit to the United Kingdom from today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today paid homage to socialist stalwart Acharya JB Kripalani on his birth anniversary. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today remembered India's first education minister Maulana Azad on his birth anniversary. In a significant boost to the prospects of fresh fruit exports, the Agricultural and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority facilitated the export of the first trial shipment of fresh bananas to the Netherlands yesterday. Reserve Bank of India said yesterday that India's forex reserves surged by 4.672 billion US dollars to 590.783 billion US dollars for the week ended the 3rd of November. The government has announced a 1% interest rate rebate to divyang borrowers under the National Handicap Finance and Development Corporation loan for timely repayment. State news. The Uttar Pradesh government achieved the 6th Guinness World Record by lighting 22.3 lakh diyas on Deepotsav at 51 ghats of Ayodhya, including the Ram ki Paidi on Saturday. Veteran and popular Telugu film actor Chandra Mohan passed away after a brief illness at a private hospital in Hyderabad on Saturday morning. He was 80. He is survived by his wife Janandhara and two daughters. Overall air quality in National Capital Delhi is currently in poor category. At its low, air quality index was recorded 263 this morning. International news. The Philippines Coast Guard said today it would maintain its regular supply missions to troops stationed on a disputed island in the South China Sea. Iceland has declared a state of emergency after an increased risk of a volcanic eruption triggered by a series of intense earthquakes in the southwest part of the country. The fourth edition of the bilateral exercise between the Indian Navy and Bangladesh Navy, Bongosagar 23, and the fifth edition of coordinated patrol, COPAT, by the two navies were held at Visakhapatnam. Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Saturday inaugurated the much awaited 102 km Chattogram Cox's Bazar dual gate single railway line at a ceremony at newly constructed Cox's Bazar railway. Canada investigating possible threat against Air India passengers on 19th November. The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, UNOCHA, says almost 50,000 people have been displaced in the past two weeks due to fighting in northern Myanmar. In the latest update of violence hit West Asia, Israel and Hamas are currently negotiating two hostage release proposals, one involving a small number of people to be released and the other involving the release of 100 or more civilians held in Gaza, reported US media. Sports news. In archery, Dheeraj Bommadevra won the country's first archery quota for the 2024 Olympics in Paris. In ICC Men's Cricket World Cup, Australia beat Bangladesh by 8 wickets in their final league match in Pune. The International Cricket Council (ICC) board has suspended Sri Lanka cricket's membership of the ICC with immediate effect. Thank you. Have a nice day ahead. Like, share and subscribe our channel.